Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. I'm gonna keep it short. This is my announcement and TBR for the upcoming Romance Takeover Readathon. This is a ton of fun. I loved doing it last year. I just participated in the readathon. Jen from the Book Refuge put all this together and she asked me to help co-host it and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go over the details and I'm gonna give you the prompts and I'll have a link to um, my, well, a link to my Instagram down below if you want any of like the Instagram stories to use for your own TBR or if you wanna participate in the readathon. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But first of all, I want to draw attention to this absolutely amazing gift that the dearest Esty brought me. Can you see it? It says Damaged Dukes and Diet Coke, which is like my self-proclaimed tagline. <laughs> it's in my Instagram profile, it's in my YouTube profile it, and TikTok. It's just, I like Damaged Dukes and Diet Coke. And I don't know that you could say anything about me better than that. And this was such a surprise. Esty had this made for me and sent to me and I'm just like, amazed at this gift that she gave me. I love it so much and I don't think I'll ever take it off. So thank you so much, Esty. This is amazing. I love it so dearly. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the details of the readathon. So the readathon will be taking place January 14th through the 17th. So it's sort of a long weekend readathon and it's basically just all romance. You just read romance the whole time. So that's not anything new for those of us who read romance, but it is really fun because this is a build your own bingo board TBR with a bunch of different prompts so you can pick and choose which prompts of these you want to put on your bingo board and then read the books to help you get a bingo. So the hosts for this readathon are Jen from the Book Refuge, myself, Riley from Riley Marie, and Brie from In Love and Words. I will of course have everybody linked down below. I'm sure you're already following them, but if you're not, go check them out and give them a follow. So now let's talk about the prompts. Okay, let me find it because there are a lot of them, which is very, very fun. And then I'll tell you the books that I have picked out that I want to read. It may be changed. May, may, it, it, it may change depending on my mood, but these are books that I really want to get to. So some of the prompts are follow the hosts. Another one is attend a reading sprint or live show. We will be having several reading sprints and live shows. I'll be hosting reading sprints on my channel on Monday the 17th during the day. Uh, buddy read with someone, that's a fun one, host recommendation, five star prediction, a book over 400 pages, weird romance, taboo romance, mafia romance, small town romance, brother's best friend romance, POC author, disabled character, a new release, a romance you didn't get to in 2021, a military romance, LGBTQ plus romance, historical romance, an author you've never read, second chance romance, age gap romance, tortured hero, read a book in one sitting, and audiobook. So those prompts, there are a lot, but they're all so good. And I think it will be really fun if you want to participate in this and then you can build your own board based on what you feel like reading at the time. And yes, so let's go ahead and talk about the books that I want to read. Okay, so the book that I picked that I believe will be a five-star prediction is One is a Promise by Pam Godwin. This is a series of hers that I believe is a love triangle, and I am expecting some great angst. I'm really curious to see where Pam takes this story, and I think it will be a five-star read for me. So that is my five-star prediction. I also chose Lucas by Carrie Ann Cole for the age gap prompt. This is a older woman, younger man romance, which I love and adore, so I'm very excited about this one. I did choose a historical romance. This is also a book that I hoped to get to in 2021, but I didn't, and it is The Lord I Left by Scarlett Peckham. This is the third book in her trilogy. This is sort of a darker indie published historical romance. I really enjoyed the first one, liked the second one, Real curious to know what I think about this one. Now for the weird romance prompt, I chose one that isn't quite as weird as some, but I think it fits this prompt. It's just a book I really want to read. And it is Gilded Rose by Emma Hamm. Emma Hamm is a fantasy romance author that I really like. And this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I believe the beast is t like a gargoyle type of creature. 
I love Beauty and the Beast retellings and I love Emma Ham, so I do have high hopes for this one. And a book that I didn't get to in 2021 that I really want to read is A Wicked Kind of Husband by Mia Vinci. I know that Jessen just recently read this and really enjoyed it, and I read an earlier book in this series way back, I think it was during, oh no, Samantha picked it for me, Books with Samantha picked it for me, to read when we both did reading vlogs for one another where we picked each other's TBR. And I really loved the, the book that I read by Mia Vinci then, so I am very excited for this one and I think I'm going to love it. And then the last book that I picked on my TBR is Dom by Sophie Lark. This is part of her Underworld series. I really just want to read all of so Sophie's books, and so this, is, this one is next on my radar for her. Assuming at this time I will have finished The Bully and the Spy. So... All right, I wanted to keep this video short. Just wanted to let y'all know this readathon is happening. I'm super excited about this. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. And yeah, you can set your TBR up however you want. You can pick whatever prompts you want to sort of push you or keep you in your comfort zone, whatever you feel like reading. So thank you so much for watching this, my friends. If you've made it this far, please leave me a snowflake emoji so I can know you were here. If you don't have emojis, just say hello. Thank you, and I'll see y'all in my next video.